Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It's 2018. Happy New Year to all of you. Let me take a seat here. As you can see, it's Marathon Mondays and it's a new year for us and I'm sitting in the back of a shell. This is a pre-recorded episode because we're not actually working today, but we wanted to bring you a special episode to kick off 2018 and to kick off the new year of Marathon Mondays. This is a behind the scenes episode, an after hours episode here at the production facility of Marathon. So enjoy it, comment right there on Facebook, and we'll see you next Monday on Marathon Mondays. Have a happy new year. So it's after hours and everyone's gone home. And it's kind of a really neat perspective here at Marathon Coach in Coburg because it's during the day, you've seen it many, many times on Marathon Mondays. It's a very busy production floor. But when everybody goes home, it's very quiet. So let's go out here, let's walk the production floor and kind of just explore and see what's going on. All right, everybody, so here we are, the main production floor here at Marathon. And as you can see, it's quiet. Most of the lights are taken down. I think the flooring crew, they work a different shift than everybody else. So the flooring crew is down there at the end of the building. But uh, because we just went through shift change, they probably haven't started yet. Um, or they're inside a coach working on some flooring. But as you can see out here, uh, there's a new shell down there. This is the showroom over on the right-hand side. It's, uh, it's very quiet right now. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool to see uh, the production floor after uh, a day of uh, everybody working. And it's now gone quiet uh, for the evening. And uh, I think we're just gonna go downstairs and kind of explore and look at some things and give you kind of a behind the scenes look at what the production floor is like when everybody's gone. So let's go. Okay, so here we are down on the main production floor and you can hear uh, the flooring guys in the background but they're pretty much the only ones in the building. Uh, sales staff is still here. I saw Dave Bash uh, just clock out. Um, there's a few people still around here but we're going to just kind of walk the building and uh, see what we can find. I like, I like this. Uh, a lot of, all of our drawers are dovetail bamboo. Look how pretty that is. I've always loved our drawers. It's got the Marathon logo in here burned into the, into the side. Aesthetically, uh, these are very, very beautiful and very strong. This over here is our electrical. This is where a lot of the uh, electric panels are actually built. You can see those right here. A lot of time and effort and design goes into those. So we're going to head down here towards the cabinet shop and as you can see all the lights are turned out but that's kind of the cool thing about getting to roam and explore the building when there's no one in here. Let's, uh, let's go see what the cabinet shop looks like after a full day of production. All right, everybody, so here it is. This is kind of the, uh, the heart of this building here in Coburg where all of the marathon coaches are actually built. Uh, this is the cabinet shop. So when we take a tour, this is kind of uh, early on in the tour of the building uh, because it, it is really an important part of seeing what Marathon does. Uh, at one end, which you can't see it right now because the lights are out, there's the CNC router machine uh, that cuts all the cabinetry parts out and then 
Uh, this is all the workstations for uh, where the cabinets are actually made. What I'm standing in front of right here is actually the area where they line the inside of the cabinets. And if I can pull it out here, here's a piece of that engineered leather uh, in that brown, that chocolate brown that we uh, line the inside of our cabinets with. But this is a really neat room uh, and it's really cool to see it after hours, after everyone's cleaned up their workspaces and gone home for the weekend. Here's a workspace right here where someone was assembling uh, the, uh, this is for coach 1277. This is a fireplace insert that goes right in the entry of the salon. So as soon as you walk up into the coach, this is gonna be right behind the driver um, facing the salon or facing actually the um, galley portion. But it's the uh, insert where the electric fireplace goes and this is for coach 1277. And it looks like the, um, the cabinet maker was, it looks like it's got some laminate on it already. Very pretty. This is a nice uh, view right here. It shows the several different woods that we use. We won't get necessarily into technically what all these woods are, but we use different woods for different applications on the cabinets. But another thing about a marathon cabinet is we screw them, we glue them, and uh, sometimes staples are used. So uh, at some point, you're gonna have three points of structure uh, integrity on these cabinets uh, holding it together and that's important and also you know uh, marathon coach owners will testify that uh, coaches that have been rolling down the road for 15 20 plus years they stay together all right you guys take a look at this this is a kit that was cut all these parts are put together they're like a kit and they're these are parts for uh, a cabinet on 1277 they were all cut on the CNC uh, router which is on the other side of this wall right here and they were all put into a cubby and all these parts a cabinet maker grabbed them and brought them to their workstation and looks like Monday morning they're going to assemble it because uh, as you know it's after hours it's actually Friday when we're filming this it's a Friday afternoon and so uh, when they come back to work on Monday looks like they're gonna get to start work on them um, this part right here for coach 1277 okay so here we are in the laminate shop the lights are all turned off but you can see right here these are laminates uh, going into several different coaches you see 1277 1274 1275 78 72 so these are the laminates that are used and we do a lot of grain matching, so we use a lot, lot of laminates. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Where's that one? I have a, I have one that I really like. Let's see if that's it. No, it's the ebony, da, 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 ebony Zanzibar. Here it is. Check this out, you guys. Look how pretty that is. It's a little dusty on the edge there. Isn't that pretty? You've probably seen that in several coaches. But that is so pretty. It's, it's got a great shine to it. Well, this is the laminate shop over here, and it's really adjacent to where all the cabinets are made. So on this side of the room, you've got where all the cabinets are made and all the cabinets are cut from the CNC machine. And then back here and right here in this little area right there, that's where they do the laminate. Let's head on down here towards paint. All right, so here we are. This is kind of the fiberglass shop. Uh, as you can see right here, we've got molds for some of our fiberglass uh, pieces that we use, and we're gonna head right into paint here. So quiet around here with no one. So here's, we're gonna walk down the uh, hallway right between two of our paint booths. 
and walk and see if uh, see what's going on in paint. It's kind of eerie at times walking around this building when there's no one around, but at the same time, it gives you a really neat perspective of the workplaces. Here we are in paint, and as you can see, you've got some bumpers, you've got some awnings ready to be painted. And if you walk around this side, you'll see an actual uh, shell that looks like it's prepped and ready to go into paint. And if you walk down this way, you can see where they've lined out some of the graphics that are going to be painted on this coach. And you can see how they've done that and prepped it. Very cool. This guy's ready to go into paint probably Monday morning. All right, so there's a shell. And uh, let's, go, let's go through this door right here and walk through service. All right, everybody, let's continue our tour through Marathon. We're right now in the service department. The service department is a great place to come if you've got a coach. Uh, they work on all Prevos. Any Prevo conversion, you can have that here. If you're looking for something to get refurbished or you're looking for a remodel, come in here. You can get some good advice on what you can do. Uh, there's some, some really cool things about our service department. Let's go take a look. You can pick different flooring, you can pick the carpet over here. Okay, so as you can see, we're after hours, but the service department is still working. Uh, a couple of guys are still working on a few coaches. So we're gonna let them do their thing. We're gonna head back into the main production floor and over to the showroom, so let's go back in there. All right. So on this side, you've got the purchasing department. And now on each side here, and you see some appliances that are stacked up over here. On both sides, this is the shipping and receiving. So actually, this is the shipping and receiving area. This is the parts room. One of the nice things is the Marathon Coach keeps parts available. So if there is a marathon out there that needs a part, we can ship it to you anywhere in the U.S., anywhere in the world for the most part. Or uh, if you're in here and you need your coach worked on, we most likely have the part here ready and available. And then here we are back on the main production floor. As you can see, it's after hours, so there's really nobody out here working. Uh, but that gives you a really nice perspective of kind of the quietness of this large building after hours. All right, everybody, so that's pretty much it. That's the tour of Marathon Coach After Hours. Like I said at the beginning of the show, we wanted to show you something not 9 a.m. Pacific Monday mornings, but a filmed version of what it's like here at Marathon on the production floor after hours. It's pretty cool. It's really quiet and you get to see everyone's workspaces and everything. So anyway, thanks for joining us and you know every Monday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific, we'll see you for Marathon Mondays. Feel free to comment right there or email me, M-A-L-W, that's malw at marathoncoach.com. Thanks again and uh, see you on Monday.